Jackson, let's first talk about your time starting here while Yamar has been out. How have you felt? How has it gone in your eyes? Uh, great. I mean, it's been a dream come true, like my childhood team that I've been a fan of forever. Um, and it feels great just to be on the field, especially playing at home at Lumen is awesome. Um, it's been awesome to play in front of like family and friends from around Seattle. So. It's been, it's been amazing. How, how surreal has this journey been? You know, being from here and yet you went to Michigan and now you're back. I mean, to, to, to be back and play in front of your home home fans and home family and stuff, how surreal is it? It's, it's awesome. Yeah, um, I definitely took uh, not like the normal path to getting back here, um, but I'm very happy to be back. When you were drafted by Chicago, did you think that there was going to be any way you could get back here or was it kind of just locked into the fire? Um, I was not, yeah, I mean, I was not, yeah. I didn't think I was going to be back here, um, at least not this soon, definitely. You know, Brian talked about how you've gotten better over the course of this season. You know, uh, in your eyes, what is there still to work on? What are you trying to get better at when you stay here late after practice ends? Um, I think defending against top MLS forwards is, is a bigger jump than from the USL and from college, and then also just being more consistent. Um, like making fewer and fewer mistakes per game. How do you approach this moment where um, you've got the what was expected to be the number one um, center back coming back, um, but I imagine you still want to be in that um, starting spot. So, I mean, do you still approach, you know, like still have that competitive edge, or do you kind of understand that you might have to go back to the bench, or what, how do you how do you handle this moment right here? Yeah, I think. Um, that's a big part of what makes this team so good is competition. Um, and so I think Javi and I, now that Yamar is coming back, we have to be competing with each other and AB um, for to see who's going to be the, the two starters. So it's only going to make us all better players at the end of the day. So yeah. So you don't make it a given within your mindset? Um, no, I mean, Yamar is a great player. I think he's it's his job to lose, definitely. So, but we'll, we'll see. Center back is a unique position in of itself in that you have to be tenacious, but you also have to be calm when you're challenging the forwards. And now that's kind of twofold, the fact that you, you're trying to prove yourself. How are you keeping balancing all those things? Tenacity and yeah, I mean, in terms yeah. of like, you know, the big fours, even with on some of the games that, like, you know, you have to play tough and be physical, yet when you get the ball, you have to distribute with the kind of, you know, some sense of calmness there. How are you balancing that right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like you said, it's just mentality. Like when, when you have the ball, you just calm, composed. Like I've just been confident that you have the technique and skills to keep it. And then when you're defending, it's just being aggressive, just mentality. Yeah. Would you rather steal that pass as a defender or be the defender that, that leaves an imprint on that forward and steals the pass? Leave an imprint. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was guessing. We're, we're in, a, in a time now, a, a generation of players who uh, can have been. You were when you were born. The Sounders existed. They already were playing games. They were uh, in the USL or whatever. But they were an, an existing organization. I'm just curious. What is your earliest Sounders memory, and what like how did you first become connected to the Sounders? Yeah, I, my dad and I um, tried to go to the first Sounders game versus Red Bulls at home and we tried to scalp tickets but um, it didn't work out so we ended up watching at like a sports bar restaurant that was super close. So but, yeah. you, like, you went down to the game and we're yeah. like let's see if we can just get tickets? Yeah and there's a ton of fans like crazy energy um, and I really wanted to go but it didn't end up working out and so we just watched um, somewhere close by on TV. So you've just been 9, 10 years old, something like that? Yeah, it's 2009, um, yeah, like 10 or something, yeah. <laughs> how, I don't surreal, know. how surreal is that? Before, right, you couldn't get in, and now obviously you can get in and get tickets. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. The full circle in life? Or what? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm, I'm yes. guess, you're getting hit up, I'm guessing, for this, for this final in a couple weeks. For tickets? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, my family wants a lot of tickets, but we'll see. I don't know. I've talked to Grant. How do you balance the focus between looking ahead to, to San Jose, but also having an eye on the, a couple of the biggest games in club history ahead? Yeah, I mean, I think we always just try to focus on the next game, but this is 
a harder one to just focus on San Jose when we have such a huge game coming up. Um, but I would say all of our focus is on San Jose. And then once, right when that game's over, it'll be shifted on recovering to, to put us. Uh, Jackson, you, with limited MLS experience, you were still able to go into Stadio León, play a great game. What was that experience like and how different was it from any game that you've played before? It was different. I mean, it was different in that it was crazy atmosphere and nothing like I've ever played in front of. But at the same time, it's still just the game. You just have to focus on what's between the lines. Um, and the coaching staff and, and the other players help me out with tactics and staying calm. So I feel just like feeling confident. How valuable is it for you to have that going into this historic game at Pumas, you know, with everything right on the line? Yeah, I mean, I think just treat it as another game. I think there's going to be pressure, but that's that's part of being a pro, and that's what, if I wasn't nervous before the game, then I would feel more nervous. I, I would feel, I'd be worried if I didn't feel nervous, so that's a good thing. Hey, you got some uh, minutes the other day. How do you kind of look at his, um, his play and then what you guys have been able to do against each other? Yeah, I mean, he did great. I think we both I mean, we both came from Tacoma. He came last year, so we have that connection. Um, and we're both like young center backs, so we have, we have a good relationship. Uh, and he's been doing great. So I think there's I mean, there's a lot of competition at the center back spot right now.